Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the Rossman Chance Applet collection, specifically the one proportion. So let me actually go back a step here. So on this applet page, I'm going to one proportion inference. We'll use this one a ton in this class. So what you might want to do is just bookmark this page specifically. Okay, so we're going to be using this, like I said, a ton in this class, especially to start off. And so when you're using it, it's very similar every time. We will use more of this as we go. So for the moment, we're not going to touch any of this. Uh, we're just going to be going here and here. So I'll just show you that for now. So to start the class, when we do something like flip a coin and we've decided what the chance model should look like, what we're going to do is we're going to input the information into these three boxes. So for example, the probability of getting heads for a fair coin, we've talked about this, is 0.5 or 50%. So that's what will go in here. This next box is just the number of tosses. So uh, depending on the problem we're doing, maybe we toss the coin 25 times. Okay, so this is you telling the computer, toss a fair coin, that's this box toss it 25 times, that's that box, and then this box is you telling the computer, okay, you know what to do, now how many times are you going to do it? So maybe we want the computer to do that experiment or simulation a hundred times over. So I'm going to unclick this animate box so you don't have to. I'm going to click draw samples, and what happens is the computer takes that information and then gives me a picture down here. So what is this picture? This is a visual representation of the results of what you told the computer to do. Every dot here, so this dot here that's above the, I know you can't see it, but this is 11. So this dot here represents the computer saying, okay, I flipped a coin, a fair coin, 25 times, and I got 11 heads. That's what that one dot represents. And so if you count this, you'll see there's 100 dots on here because you told the computer, do 100 repetitions. Okay, so we might want some other information out of this at the start of the class. So I'm going to click this button, Summary Stats, and it's going to tell me a couple things, but right now, just to start, we're really interested in this mean, which is one way of you just thinking the middle or the average. What, what's the middle of this picture? And it says 2.85, which maybe doesn't mean much to us right off the bat because what does 2.8 heads out of 25 mean, right? But what we'll start to do is start to realize that this number should match what you put into this box. It won't be perfect, but they should be very similar. And if you're having trouble seeing that that should happen, what does 12.85 heads out of 25 have to do with 0.5? You can click this button here, proportion of heads, it'll switch instead of 11 out of 25, it'll switch that to the decimal version of that. So that's all that we did there was instead of a fraction or whole numbers divided, we're thinking in terms of decimals. That's all that that shift did. But then you can see, oh, okay, I see the connection here. What this number is telling us is that the middle in some sense of the middle of this picture is almost a half. Well, that's what we told it to be. We told the computer, use a fair coin. The computer did that a hundred times. It flipped that coin 25 times. That's a mouthful, lots of times. And we saw that the middle of this is almost around a half, a little bit bigger. So we're going to have you exploring this, understanding it. There's more buttons here, but you don't have to worry about that now. The only thing I'll show you is what happens if you do a different example. So instead of flipping a coin, let's do something like um, play rock, paper, scissors. So if we were going to play rock, paper, scissors, and I wanted to know the probability of choosing um, rock if you were just picking randomly. Well, we'll talk about this later, but it ends up being 0.333 repeating. You can round it to 0.33 or like I did three decimal places. Okay, so once I put that in, you'll see it immediately turns over. Now we're seeing some of the notation we've used. Pi, which is what is always going to go in this box. 
our null hypothesis, that'll come later. The sample size, n, that's how many times you want the computer to do that thing, play rock, paper, scissors. And then again, number of samples is, okay, you've told the computer what to do. Now, how many times do you want the computer to do that simulation or experiment over and over again? So it changes the way it looks a little bit, but if you hit draw samples, you're still going to get the same idea. Hey, look, the middle is very close to what we had said with 0.33. It's 0.33, so that's pretty close. Um, each dot represents the computer playing rock, paper, scissors 25 times and telling you how many times that it had gotten rock. There you go. So just to kind of give you um, a heads up on how I want you to use this, a lot of times you will be grabbing this number, grabbing this information to show me what you plugged in, or grabbing this picture. And so there's a lot of ways to do it. I'm going to go to the snipping tool. I'm going to hit, and let me just show you. So here's the snipping tool. So this is on PC. I'm going to hit new, and then maybe I want to grab this picture. I grab it. I can then copy it into my Word doc. Uh, you can save it and upload it that way if you want to your Word doc. However you want to do it's fine. Um, there's many ways to go about doing this, so just whatever you're most comfortable with. But I usually just use the snipping tool because it's pretty quick. Um, and so sometimes you might want to do the same. You've copied that in. Now you want to do, oh, I put this into the boxes. Boom, boom. All right, so that's all you're going to need for now for the one proportion applet. There are a ton of them. We won't even get to a decent sized fraction of these because there are so many of them. But we will use others. Uh, so. Just bookmark this, try playing around. If you get stuck anywhere, just let me know.